Hello everyone. Today, uh, today's lesson will be a pre-recorded one because I don't have time to do a live lesson. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into the uh, today's lesson. Okay, question one. At the fun fair, candies are only sold in packets of nine. <clears throat> Each packet is sold at five dollars. One candy is given free for every two packets bought. What is the maximum number of candies Peter will receive if he spent twenty-five dollars? Okay, so um, each packet is sold at five dollars. So the first thing that we're gonna find is twenty-five divided by five, which is uh, five. Packets, right? Okay, so since um, one candy is given free for every two packets bought, so there will be two free candies. Okay, and um, since the candies are sold in packets of nine. <laughs> So the next thing we're gonna do is 9 times 5 to get 45 candies. Okay, 45, we're gonna add the two free ones, which will give me 47 candies. Question 2. Masha cut out three identical right angle triangles. So 1, 2, and 3. She joined them to form a figure PQ RS as shown below. SR is equal to 20 cm, QR is equal to 8 cm. Parameter of the figure PQ RS is 44 cm. We can find the area of the figure PQ RS. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna figure out is PQ. Okay, PQ is actually 20 divided by 2, okay, which is 10. Because um, over here, okay, these two are equal to each other and it's equal to PQ. Okay, the next thing we're gonna find is PS. PS will be 44. CM which is the parameter minus 20 minus um, 10 and minus 8 Okay, so 44 minus 20 minus 10 minus 8 will give me 6 CM Okay, so to find the area of uh, one of the triangle I just need to use a uh, half times base times Okay, cancel 1, cancel 4 is going to give me 24. And 24 times 3, since there's a 3 triangles, will give me okay, 72 square centimeter. Okay, so this is the answer. Question 3. The bar graph shows the number of students playing in the various spots during the school's game state. A quarter of the students play soccer. You can draw the bar that shows the number of students who play soccer. Okay, so let's write down the number first. Okay, I think this one is 16. Because it's all increasing in 2, this is 6. Basketball will be 14. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to find what is 3 quarter of the students. 3 quarter of the students will be 16 plus 6 plus 14, which is um, 36. Okay, which means that a quarter will be 36 divided by 3, which is 12. Okay, so to draw the graph of... Um, the number of students who play soccer you got to draw until here ok 
Okay, question four. In the figure below, draw three more straight lines to form a symmetrical figure with A, B as the line of symmetry. Okay, I think there's, there's some problem with this question because I definitely need to use more than three lines to, to form a symmetrical figure. Okay, I think the three lines should look something like this. One, two, and the last one will be from here to here. Okay, but because there's, there's another two lines here, so I need to draw two more lines like this. Okay, we're just going to move on. Question five. Mrs. Lee drew three squares to form a figure. The areas of the squares uh, were in the ratio of 1 is to 4 is to 13. She then shaded some parts of the figure as shown below. What is the ratio of the shaded parts to the unshaded part of the figure? Okay, so... Okay, this shaded part will be one unit. Treat it as one unit. Okay, to find the shaded part of the outside. Okay, we need to use 13 minus 4. 13 is the bigger square, 4 will be the uh, middle square. Okay, 13 minus 4 is 9. So the outer shaded part is considered 9 units. Okay, so the next thing we need to find is uh, we need to find what is the area of the unshaded part. Okay, the area of the unshaded part will be 4 minus 1, which is Three units okay so this will be three units okay so we need to find uh what is the ratio of the shaded parts to the unshaded part of the figure okay so shaded will be 10 units okay unshaded is Three units okay which means that the ratio of the shaded to the unshaded will be 10 is to 3 okay question six tom had four fifth as many stamps as michael okay, after michael gave away um three over seven of his stamps Tom had 14 more stamps than Michael. Okay, how many stamps did Tom have? Okay, let's write down the ratio of uh, stamps that Tom have is to Michael. That will be 4 is to 5. Okay, if you are familiar with um, a fraction of a unit, okay, Michael gave away 3 over 7 of his stamps, right? So which means that we need to find what is 3 over 7 of five units okay but if you're not comfortable with working in terms of um, decimals or fraction okay what you can do is you can inflate this um, ratio to an equivalent ratio of 28 is to 35 okay so <clears throat> Michael, Michael gave away three over seven of his stems which means that you want to find what is uh, 4 over 7 of 35 units. Okay, which is 4 over 7 times 35. Okay, so 1 divided by 7, okay, 5, which is 20 units. Okay, so after giving away, Okay, Tom still left with 28 units. Okay, Michael will be left with 20 units. Okay, so since Tom had 40 more stamps than Michael, which means that the 8 unit will be equal to 40. Okay, 1 unit will be equal to 5. How many stamps did Tom have? So Tom will have uh, 28 units. 
which is uh, 28 times 5. Okay, which is uh, 140. Okay, question 7. Susan received uh, $40 each day for food and transport. She saved the rest of the amount of money after she spent on food and transport. The graph shows the daily amount of money she spent on um, from Monday to Friday. Let's write down the amount first. This will be um, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this will be 14. Tuesday will be 32. Wednesday will be 16. Thursday will be 16, 17, 18. If Friday will be 24. So the graph shows the daily amount of money she spent. Okay, part A. What is the difference between the amount Susan spent on uh, Wednesday and Friday? So for part A, Wednesday, Friday will be 24 minus 16, okay, which is $8. Okay, part B, what was the total amount of money she saved on Monday and Tuesday? Okay, so Monday and Tuesday. So Monday would be 40 minus 14. 26. Okay, Tuesday will be 40 minus 32, which is 8. Okay, so the total amount of money she saved on Monday and Tuesday will be 26 plus 8, okay, which is $34. Okay, part C, write down all the days in which Susan saved more than half of her daily amount of money. Okay, so um, she received $40, right? So if she wants to save more than half, that means it's more than $20. Okay, so um, let's look at the days where she spent less than $20. It'll be it's a green color. This, this, and this. Okay, so for the answer for part C, it will be Monday, uh, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay, question 8. Ali and uh, Sarah started jogging from the same place in opposite direction along a straight path. Both of them did not change their speed. After jogging for 40 minutes, okay, they were uh, 7 km apart. Ali's average speed was uh, 30 m per minute faster than Sarah's. So how far did Ali jog? Okay, so this one is a speed distance time question where they start at the same point but Okay, they are jogging in opposite direction. So this might be um, Ali and this might be Sarah. Okay, so they are seven kilometer apart, right? Okay, so um, one of the trick for this type of question is if you use the total distance 
Okay, since the speed is in meter per minute, I'm gonna change the 7 kilometer to meter. Okay, 7 kilometer is equal to 7,000 meter. And I'm going to use um, 7,000 divided by 40. Okay, 7,000 divided by 40 will give me 175 <clears throat> meter per minute. Okay, this is actually their total speed. Okay, so at this point, if you are, if you understand what's happening, which means that um, Ali and Sarah, because Ali's average speed was 30 meter per minute faster, right? So you should realize that it is a model which is something like this. 30. And their total speed is uh, 175. Okay, so at this point, we can find out what is um, Ali's speed because the question is asking us to find how far did Ali jog. Okay, so to find Ali's speed, I'm going to use 175 plus 30 divided by 2. which is a 102.5 meter per minute so 102.5 times um, 40 okay, it's going to give me 4100 meter okay, so this is the answer for question 8 Okay, question 9, the figure below, not drawn to scale. A, B, C, D, H, K, J, C, and B, G, F, E, R, squares. Okay, so these three are squares. B, K, J is equals to 50 degree. C, B, E is 70 over here. Find angle A, H, C. A, H, C over here. Okay, first we're gonna find um I'm gonna find this angle over here. Okay, this angle over here is 40 because it's uh 90 okay minus 50. Okay, next I'm gonna find this angle here. Okay, angle H <coughs> BK. Since this is 90, okay, angle HBK is equals to 360 minus 90, minus 90, and minus 70. Okay, 360 minus 180 and minus 70 will give me 110 degree. So this one is 110. Okay, so now I can find this angle over here. Angle KHB is equals to 180 minus 110 minus 40, okay, which is 30. So now I can find this angle here. This angle will be um, 60. Okay, 90 minus 30, so this is 30, this is 60, and now I can move on to find what is um, AHC. So AHC will be 180 minus 60, okay, which is 1 to 0 degree. Okay, question 10. <clears throat> the table below shows the price of pencils and erasers sold at a bookshop. So um, pencil, the price per item is B cents. Eraser is B plus 10 cents. Okay, Aza bought three pencils and one eraser. So how much did he spend? Give your answer in terms of B. 
Okay, so three pencils. Uh, at A, maybe I can do it here. Three pencils is basically equals to three B cents. Okay, and a one eraser. So to find the total will be three B plus B plus ten. Okay, which is four B plus ten cents. Okay, for part B, Raman paid five dollars and fifty cents for eight pencils and a number of erasers. If B is equals to thirty five, how many erasers did he buy? Okay, so I'm gonna write down the price of the pencil first. 35 cents and the eraser will be 45 cents okay so he paid um eight pencils okay eight pencils will be equal to 35 times eight okay 35 times eight is 20 cents or it is two dollars and 80 cents Okay, so I'm gonna use um, the five dollars and fifty cents minus away the two eighty. Okay, which is gonna give me uh two dollars and seventy cents. Okay, so if you want to find the number of erasers that he bought, I need to use a. Uh, 270 divided by the 45 cents okay gotta convert it into dollars so 2 point cents uh, 2.7 divided by 0 0.45 will give me six okay so he bought six erasers Okay, question 11. A total of $1,332.50 was collected from the sale of adult and child tickets at a concert. $635.50 more was collected from the sale of the adult tickets than the children tickets. Okay, each child ticket sold um three oh sorry, each child ticket cost three fifty less than an adult ticket. And uh there were twice as many adult ticket sold as the children ticket they find the total number of children who went to the concert okay so the first thing we're gonna find is um, let's find out how much is collected from the adult tickets and the children ticket first so this one uh, should be pretty straightforward because like adult and children right 635 more was collected from the sale of the adult so the adult will be longer 635.5 okay children will be smaller and the total will be here so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use 1332.5 minus 635.5 and then after that i'm gonna divide by 2 1332.5 minus 635.5 divided by 2 will give me 348.5. Okay, this is for the children tickets. Dollars. Let me just double confirm the working. Okay, for the adults, it will be okay. One three three two point five minus the three four eight point five. One three three two point five minus three four eight point five. Nine hundred and eighty four dollars, adults. Okay, so the next key thing to look out for is 
there were twice as many adult tickets sold than the children tickets. Okay, so we're gonna use the uh, 984 divided by 2, which is 492. Okay, so now we're comparing the same number of children and the same number of adults. Okay, since each child ticket costs um, 350 less, which means that each adult ticket costs 350 more. So the next step will be to use uh, 492 minus 348.5 then I need to divide it by 350 okay which will give me 41 Okay, this 41 is uh, find the total number of children who went to the concert. Okay, this is already the answer. If you want to find the uh, number of adults, you can use 41 times 2. Question 12. Michael uses identical shaded and unshaded triangles to form figures that form a pattern as shown below. Okay, the number of shaded triangles will be 4, 9, 16. The number of unshaded triangles is uh, 3, 5, 7. And the total number of um, shaded and unshaded triangles is 7, 14, 23. Uh, part A, <clears throat> supposed to complete the table for figure 4. Okay, so this will be uh, 25. Okay, because this is a uh, two times two, three times three, four times four, and this is five times five. Okay, and this will be nine because it's always a plus two. <clears throat> and the last one will be twenty-five plus nine, which will give me a thirty-four. Okay, a figure in the pattern has a total of five hundred and twenty-nine uh, shaded triangles shaded triangles okay what is the figure number so for part b okay the first thing we're going to do is we're going to square root the 529 square root 529 will give me 23 okay then the next thing i need to do is 23 minus 1 is equals to 22 Okay, so the figure number is uh, 22. You can try it from, uh, let's say this 16. Okay, square root of 16 is 4. Then 4 minus 1 will give you the figure number 3. Okay, part C. Another figure in the pattern has a total of 63 unshaded triangles. Uh, what is the total number of shaded and unshaded triangles in that figure? Okay, let's find out what is the figure number first. Okay, for the unshaded triangles, right? This is a AP pattern. So for part C, uh, figure, I'm going to write down 1, 2, 3. Okay, and the unshaded going to be 3, 5, 7. Okay, the first thing you do is you minus 3 from all of them. Okay, you realize this is your uh, 2 times table. This is 0 times 2. This is 1 times 2. This is 2 times 2. Okay, so um, if, if the figure in the pattern has a total of 63, so next we're going to find what is 63. Okay, so the first thing we do is 63 minus 3 will give me 60. 60 is uh, what times 2? It's 30 times 2, right? Okay, and so uh, I need to use 30 plus 1 to get a figure number of 31. Okay, because you can see over here is a 0 plus 1 will give you 1, 1 plus 1 will give you 2, 2 plus 1 will give you 3. Okay, but uh, they're asking for the total number of shaded and 
unshaded um, triangles. So the next step would be uh, to find the number of shaded triangles. Since it is figure number 31, so I need to do a 31 plus 1. And I need to square the 32. Okay, so 32 square will give me 1024. Okay, so the answer will be 1024 plus the 63. Okay, which is 1087. What's the answer for part B? Part B is 22. Okay, part C is 1087. Question 13. Ramesh had a rectangular block of wood, uh, 9 cm by 4 cm by 7 cm. He painted all the faces of the block. Okay, what is the total painted area? Okay, so total painted area, which means that uh, they're asking for the total surface area. <clears throat> so the total surface area will be first, I'm going to find the this face here. Okay, this face will be 9 times 7 times 2 because there's a front and back. First 2, 1, 2, 6. Next, I'm going to find um, this face here. This face will be 7 times 4 times 2 again because there's a left and right, 56. Okay, the last one will be the top and bottom. Okay, the top and bottom will be 9 times 4 times 2. Which is 72. So the last step will be to add them all together. 1, 2, 6 plus 56 plus 72. Okay, which will give me 254 square cm. That's the answer for part A. Okay, Ramesh cut the block into 1 cm cubes. How many of these cubes have only one of their faces painted? Okay, let me erase uh, this part first. Okay, to find how many cubes uh, have only one of their faces painted, okay, we need to find the cubes that are inside. Okay, so basically I need to minus 1 cm for each corner. Uh, this will be a 6 cm. And this will be a 7. Okay, so for the front and back, I will have do the part B here 7 times 6 times 2 which is 84 and then for um, this part here okay same thing I need to minus 1 cm for each side but because it is too small so I'm gonna write it here be 2 times um, Okay, wait, this is not 6, this is 5. Okay, because it is um, 7 minus 2. Will give you 5, 9 minus 2, which, which will give you 7. 7 times 5 times 2 will give me. Okay, this is 70. This will be 2 times 5 times 2. Okay, because there's a left right. So that will be 20. 
The last one will be the up down, which is here. Okay, which is seven times <clears throat> two times two. Okay, which is twenty-eight. The last step will be to add them all together. Okay, seventy plus twenty plus twenty-eight. Okay, which is one one eight. Okay, question 14. Jerry, Ken, and Leon shared some stamps. Jerry took 408 stamps. Ken took a quarter of the remainder. And Leon had 24% of the total number of stamps. How many stamps did the three boys have all together? Okay, so this type of question, if you draw a simple model like this, you can cut one part. Okay, which is the 408. That is what jerry took okay and then ken took a quarter of the remainder so the remainder you cut into four parts this part will be like uh ken okay leon had uh 24 percent of the total stamps so this whole block over here is 24 percent Okay, so if you let this be equal to one unit, one unit, one unit. Okay, twenty-four percent is equal to three unit. <clears throat> we can find what is hundred percent. It will be three over twenty-four. Okay, times one hundred. which is 12.5 unit <clears throat> okay since this is also one unit then the next step i'm gonna use is i'm gonna use 12.5 minus away the four unit okay which will give me 8.5 unit okay which means that 8.5 unit is equals to 408 I can find what is one unit which is um, 48. And the question is asking me to find uh, how many stamps did the three boys have all together. Remember 100% is 12.5 unit. So I'm going to use 48 times 12.5 which will give me 600 stamps. Okay, question 15. A group of girls sold an average of 60 balloons at a carnival. Uh, then two boys joined the group. The two boys sold a total of 165 balloons. After the two boys joined the group, the average number of balloons sold by all the boys and girls became 65. How many girls were there in the group? Okay, so for this type of question, let's draw a block that represents um, the girls first okay so from here to here it represents a uh, 60 okay but the question is i do not know how many girls are there so i'm gonna just leave this um as <clears throat> okay number of girls okay next thing i do know that uh two boys join the group right so i'm gonna draw the box over here i'm gonna draw it a bit bigger and i'm gonna cut it into two parts 
Okay, the two boys sold a total of 165 balloons, right? After the two boys joined, the average number of balloons sold by the uh, all the boys and girls became 65. So I'm going to cut one part here. And here to here will represent the new average, which is 65. Okay, so the the two boys uh, sold more than the usual average because um, <clears throat> This part here okay, will be distributed to the uh, girls in order to increase their average from 60 to 65. So we can find uh, what is this part here by using 165 minus 65 minus 65. This 35 will be distributed to this part and since there is an increase of 5, right? And so the next step will be to use the 5 divided by 5 which will give me 7. Okay, which means that the number of girls here is 7. Okay, this is the answer. Question 16, in the figure below not drawn to scale, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Okay, G, E, D, G, H, K, F, and B, C, F are straight lines. Angle D, A, E is 110, so 110 is over here. E, G, H is 60, 60 is over here. And K, F, C is 30 degree. Okay, so first I need to find what is K, C, F, K, C, F is here. Okay, so for part A, we know that angle BCD is also equal to 110. Okay, because it's opposite angles of a parallelogram. So which means that to find angle KCF, I just need to use 180 minus 110. Okay, which will give me 70 degree. Okay, so to find uh, part B, I need to find what is angle AEG, which is this one here. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I'm going to find is I'm going to find angle CKF. Okay, CKF is 180 minus 30 minus um, 70. which is 80 degree okay so this is 80 and so this is also 80 okay by vertically opposite so angle d k h is also equal to 80 degree now this angle here is also 80 this is a vertically opposite Okay, angle EHG is also equals to 80 degree. This is by corresponding angle. Okay, which means that now I can find what is angle GEH is basically um 180 minus 80 minus 60, which will give me 40 degree. Okay, and then the last step will be to find angle AEG, okay, which is 180 minus 40. This over here is 40, which will be 140 degree.
Okay, question 17. The figure is made up of four semicircles and a rectangle A, B, C, D. Okay, I think the four semicircles are one, two, three, four. Okay, A, B is equals to nine. B, C is equals to 12. And A, C is equals to 15. Find the total area of the shaded parts. Okay, I think the question missed out a point. The question probably need to tell you that this whole thing over here is one full circle. Okay, so the plan to find the total area of the shader part will be I'm going to find the area of the whole figure. Okay, and then I'm going to minus away the area of this white circle. So first, I'm going to find the area of this uh, two semicircle which is gonna be um pi r squared okay 3.14 times <clears throat> 4.5 square it's gonna be 63.585 3.14 times now I'm gonna find the other circle 12 divided by 2 is um, 6 square one one three point zero four. <clears throat> okay area of the rectangle will be 9 times 12 Okay, the next step, I'm going to add them all together. Plus 113.04 plus 108. And it's going to give me 3.585. Two eight four point six two five. Okay, then um step two. I'm gonna find the area of the white circle. Okay, diameter of the white circle is fifteen cm, so radius is equals to fifteen divided by two seven point five cm. So three point one four times. 7.5 square it's 176.625 okay so the last step will be to use the total area okay minus away the area of the white circle Okay, 108 square cm. Okay, so we have come to the end of the paper.